So in this presentation, we are going to discuss or talk about uh, valvular heart disease. So what we have here, you can see we've got our left ventricle here, and then we've got our left atrium which is here, and then here what we have here is a mitral valve, and you can see doming. At the same time, you can actually see that the mitral valve is actually stenosed here uh, and is calcified. So what we have here is the waveform that is showing a uh, severe mitral regurgitation. So there is a severe mitral regurgitation. So blood is actually flowing back from the left ventricle back into the atrium. So this is what we call a regurgitation. So this is just a case showing basic echocardiography. I need you to appreciate uh, what is taking place here. Blood is actually flying flowing back from the ventricle into the atrium a condition that we call regurgitation so this is a case of a valvular disease the mitral valve is stenosed hence we find that there is reverse flow so the same valve you can actually see what is taking place here you can see the yellowish color that is taking place in the bluish this is what you call regurgitation. You can see doming is here. So you can actually appreciate that uh, the mitral valves, they are actually calcified. They are calcified, they are calcified. So what we have here is the aortic valve. So the, the, the valve, the mitral valve is stenosed due to the calcification in this doming. And you can see that there is severe uh, regurgitation. Again, coming to this, you can actually see doming here and you can see the calcifications on the leaflets of the mitral valve. You can appreciate this is our left ventricle and then you can see here our left atrium and you can see there is systolic dysfunction here uh, with a uh, dilated uh, cardiomyopathy as well. There is a loss of systolic function uh, as you can appreciate here and you can see uh, the heart here the mitral valve is actually calcified so here is an assessment of the aortic valve and you can also appreciate that there is a regurgitation that is also taking place in the mitral valve in the aortic valve here so you can see there is backflow or some blood that is also taking place there here you can now appreciate uh, the valves the aortic valve in the mitral valve here can appreciate the two valves they are calcified so here you are also seeing this is the tricuspid valve and you can see there is also severe tricuspid regurgitation that you can appreciate here so you can see that these three valves they are all uh, showing a regurgitation but the regurgitation is more severe on the mitral in the tricuspid valves so here is the chair four chamber view and you can appreciate our our tricuspid valve here and the mitral valve so this is the interventricular septum this is the left ventricle uh this is the left atrium this is our right uh atrium in the right ventricle that we have we have here so this patient is actually presenting with the valvular heart disease and you can see is doming uh on the of all the valves there on the uh, transfer the mitral valve at the same time there is a uh, loss of systolic uh, function so ideally uh, what we are seeing here uh, is a case uh, that is got a complication uh, presenting due to the calcification of the valves and you can appreciate it is one of a case of a valvular heart disease i hope you are doing well from wherever you are around the world this is just basic echocardiography uh i just wanted you to appreciate uh, the basics of echocardiography thank you so much